Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In a dream, Qasim bore witness to a remarkable sight. The noble prophet Dawood alayhi salam, or David, peace be upon him, was sitting down and working with iron to create chains. As he observed the prophet at work, Qasim couldn't help but marvel at the way in which the iron appeared to be as pliable as clay in Dawood alayhi salam's hands. It was almost as if he possessed a supernatural ability to mold the iron to his will, much like a child would shape clay to different shapes effortlessly. Upon closer inspection, Qasim realized that Dawood alayhi salam's hands were secreting a mysterious chemical that upon contact with the iron would render it soft and malleable. This allowed the Prophet to bend the iron to any shape he desired with ease. In the dream, Qasim remarked to himself, the iron is being made soft by this chemical which is coming out of the hands of Prophet Dawood alayhi salam and then he is able to bend the iron to any shape he desires by the mercy of Allah. This was not only the curious thing that Qasim observed in his dream. In another dream, he saw drums or barrels filled with the very same chemical that he had witnessed secreting from Prophet Dawood alayhi salam's hands. As he looked closer, he noticed that there had been a slight spill of that chemical onto an iron object nearby, causing it to become more malleable and weakened its structural integrity. And the dream ended there. These dreams are a testament to the profound knowledge and wisdom possessed by the Prophet Dawood alayhi salam, as well as the miraculous power bestowed upon him by Allah. Allah himself speaks of the great privilege that he granted to Dawood alayhi salam in the Quran saying, and we certainly gave David from us bounty. We said, O mountains, repeat our praises with him, and the birds as well. And we made pliable for him iron, commanding him to make full coats of mail and calculate precisely the links and work all of you. Righteousness. Indeed I, of what you do, am seeing. When we contemplate these dreams of Qasim, it is not difficult to imagine the incredible possibilities that would arise from being able to recreate the miraculous chemical substance that Dawood alayhi salam used to mold iron to his will. Perhaps, under the rule of the Mahdi, the believers would potentially recreate this chemical substance and store them in drums and utilize it to gain an advantage over their enemies, forging powerful machinery and weapons of war, including modern day armor that could turn the tide of battle just as it did for Prophet Dawood alayhi salam's army. Imagine being able to bend metal such as chromium, tungsten, or other metal alloys at will. Such a capability could potentially bring forth a new era of metalworking, unlocking novel and intricate designs that were previously impossible to create. The prospect of such a technology could usher in a paradigm shift in the manufacturing industry and grant the Mahdi's Caliphate technological supremacy. Undeniably, it would be a revival of the ancient practice of a beloved Prophet of Allah and a testament to the enduring power of Allah's miracles, especially during the final days. And Allah knows best.